Institute that our uh, 77 Princeton Community Council has supported the community for over 18 years. And I'm just merely here to say that we support you, that we care, and whatever we can do to help you, we will love you. And, and I just, my prayers just go out to you, man, because we just think that, you know, it's very horrible what happened. And we just thank you that our uh, public advocate is, uh, is doing what she does, you know, caring to make sure that justice is, is done, and we thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Someone who uh, continues to build bridges and teach us all about peace, Mr. Bob Kaplan, representing Jason R.C. First of all, um, love and prayers for your son, for the entire family. He should have a perfect healing. And that's really what we say should have a perfect healing in this community. Symbolizes a perfect healing. Think about it. 25 years ago, as mentioned, this community never would have came together like this. Never would have had the feeling for another in the community that was suffering in pain. Would have looked at the other as somehow distant. Somehow someone you couldn't embrace and see as your neighbor. Well, that's changed. Mm -hmm. And that's changed because of the hard work of the, the elected officials in this community, the citywide, the local, and all the community leaders who said, I'm not going to buy into that. We're not going to buy into that kind of rhetoric anymore. We're going to buy into the community working together and being together. Now, I have to echo something I heard before. I, I, I pray to God. I pray to God that this guy was just plain crazy. Whether he is or he isn't, we'll find out from the NYPD, who are just magnificent in what they do, apprehend this person. I know the pictures are out there, and we, we, we really urge everyone, whether it's for the $10,000 or just doing the right thing, of, of, of bringing this person to justice. These things are going to happen, unfortunately. We're living in a very topsy-turvy world. We're living in a world where people are not getting the kind of help that they need, where people are feeling afraid, and, and people are feeling you know, a little just distant, but Crown Heights, Crown Heights, which once was the symbol of people feeling distant, is now the symbol of people coming together and knowing how to work with each other to solve problems. This problem will get solved, God willing, this person will be apprehended, but most of all, God willing, a perfect healing. Mm -hmm. and in the community, in this community um, have done throughout the years, when things like this happen, we come together. Several months ago, we had a similar stabbing. Uh, the person is still at large, of my understanding. We don't know if this is the same culprit who's doing this. That's why it's extremely important. Whoever saw something, they should say something, and they should do something and notify the NYPD. And so let's continue to keep our community together. This is one crown height that came from the Revy of this community. This is one community, and we'll continue to do so. And I thank all of us. Let's continue to be together. As long as we are together as a community, no one will ever be able to de de divide us. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to hear from our great city council member who's doing a fabulous job, ladies and gentlemen, council member Lori Comer. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody for <coughs> gathering together in the 35th district, which I believe is the greatest district in the city of New York. Yeah. First district, we are a microcosm of the city of New York. We represent the very best of what New York has to offer, and that is our diversity. Those are our different opinions. Those are our different religions, our different races, our different economic backgrounds. And for those that choose to live in the 35th Council District, we do so because we love that diversity and we love the spirit that exists here in the 35th Council District. I don't ever want that to change. I want to make sure that we preserve that, that we protect that. And as so many have said before, what we really want to express to the community at large is that we want to make sure that when situations like this happen, that people come forward with information. We can't continue to protect people in our community. We can't allow them to stay in the shadows because what we think or what people may be thinking is that they're going to get away with this and they're not going to do it again. These individuals are living on the edge. They are over the edge. They are mentally not sound. And if we think that they are not going to commit a crime like that against anyone in the community, we are wrong. We are very wrong.